Investors appear to be getting more and more nervous about banking stocks. But does that create opportunities maybe for the brave traders out there? Welcome to Trading Nation. I'm Susan Lee. Today we're joined by Dennis Davitz of Harvest Volatility Advisors and Max Wolf of Manhattan Venture Partners. So Dennis, let's start with you. What's the options market say, telling us about banks? Well, what the options market's telling us about banks is that there is a great deal of nervousness out there. And there's a chart here that shows there's a 20-point a premium um, for the VIX of Bank America. So everyone's familiar with the VIX, which is the fear gauge about the broader market. You can actually break that down and create individual VIXs around each stock. So Bank America volatility or Bank America VIX has seen a dramatic increase as of late with all of the uncertainty around that stock. So the options market is saying they're not believing the book value and the options market is saying there's a great deal of uncertainty around all of these banking stocks. So Max, if it does get worse for the banks, so what does it mean for the overall economy? Right, so I think what, part of what's happening here, we're seeing the banks get beat up, other than the specific situations where the, the bank in question has done something specifically, is there's sort of two reasons we're seeing the banks get beat up. One bad, one good. The bad reason is it's habit. Last time the world sort of looked like it was coming apart on us, banks let us down, banks were in the epicenter, a little bit of a knee jerk. That's the not so good reason. The slightly better reason is there's a lot of mediocre credit out there, and the tide is going out, and we're going to see whose bathing suit is inadequate and who hasn't been in the gym much, and there's some evidence that some more leverage that maybe is ideal was taken in some parties. And there are parties out there with exposure to the relatively at-risk segments of the consumer economy mm -hmm. and or major energy and commodity plays. And that's going to be a little bit dicey. So that's the good reason for folks to be nervous about the banks. And we, of course, we get a feedback loop. Banks get rattled. They withdraw credit. As yeah. credit contracts, the macro economy naturally weakens. Yeah. Dennis, does it seem reminiscent of 2008? Yes and no. I don't think there's leverage in the marketplace, but I think what's happening is the European banks, there's a lot of uncertainty around the European banks. And in this indexed world we live in now, I think a lot of good banks are being taken down. I think Goldman Sachs is sound. I think JP Morgan is sound. I'm also not a bank analyst. I'm an options trader. But based on what I see in the options market, we're not seeing what we saw back in 2008. All right. Dennis, Max, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you for tuning into Trading Nation. I'm Susan Lee. You take care.